One Saturday morning, when Alfie and Annie Rose had finished their breakfast, Dad said he was thinking of taking them to the Harvest Fair at the big school that afternoon. Alfie and Annie Rose liked fairs, where there were usually interesting things to look at and good things to eat. There's going to be a pet show and a children's painting competition too, Dad told Alfie. Alfie wanted to take their cat, Chessie, along and put her into the pet show. He was sure she would win a prize. But Mum said that Chessie wasn't the sort of cat who would like being in a show, and that it might put her into a cross mood. What about painting a picture instead? Dad suggested. Alfie thought that was a good idea. He liked painting. Mum found a piece of paper and a paintbrush, and they cleared a space on the table. Then they got out the paints that Grandma had given them, and Mum showed Alfie how to wash out his brush so the colours would not get mixed up and turn muddy. What shall I paint? Alfie asked. Mum thought. Then she fetched the jug, which had yellow and orange leaves, red berries and mauve daisy flowers in it, and put it on the table. These are pretty, don't you think? she said. But Alfie did not want to paint leaves and berries. He already had a better idea. He dipped his brush carefully into the paint and began his picture. When he had finished, everyone was very interested to see what he had painted. I like all that red and black, said Dad. It's a face, I can see that. Uh, is it some sort of bird? No! said Alfie. It's a motorbike man. These are his eyes and this is his red helmet. And, and these are his black gloves. Mum helped Alfie to write his name under his picture. Then she wrote at the top, Children's Painting Competition, Five and Under, Motorbike Man. And she stuck the picture up on the door of the fridge so that they could all admire it while they had lunch. Then they set out for the harvest fair. Alfie carried his painting, carefully rolled up. The first people they saw in the big school hall were Maureen McNally and her mum. They had made an enormous cake and were inviting people to guess how much it weighed. The person who guessed nearest was going to win the cake. Then Alfie and mum and dad and Annie Rose went to look at all the flowers and fruit and vegetables and second-hand toys and homemade cakes and fudge. Then they went into the school playground to look at the pet show. Wow! There are lots of different pets. I can see lots of dogs. Is that a hamster? Birds? A rabbit? A tortoise? Can you see anything else? Min and her little sister Lily had brought their beautiful rabbits. They let Alfie and Annie Rose stroke them. The white rabbit, Bianca, had pink eyes. Domino's eyes were like shiny dark brown beads. Bernard had put his pet beetle into the show. It lived in a jam jar amongst a lot of leaves. You can't see him because he's hiding, Bernard told Alfie. He, he may come out later if he feels like it. Bernard was going in for the children's painting competition too, so they all went off together. When they got there, Bernard unrolled his picture and held it up for Alfie and Annie Rose to see. It's two slime monsters having a fight, he told them. Bernard was not a careful painter. There was a lot of slime and red blood dripping all over the picture. But Alfie and Annie Rose thought it was very good. A lot of other children were handing in their pictures, and a teacher was pinning them up on big screens. Alfie's motorbike man was pinned up with the other pictures. Everyone was gathering round to look. 
Some children had done cars, trucks, and spaceships. The Santos twins had both painted bugs and butterflies. Kevin Turley had done a picture of his mum. Louise Harper had painted a blue house with a lot of smoke coming out of the chimney, and Rahima Sharif had done a beautiful picture of orange and yellow leaves and berries, and a big red apple. On a table nearby were the prizes. The first prize for the five and unders was a picture book about dinosaurs. The second prize was a jigsaw puzzle of a farmyard scene, and the third prize was a bottle of bright green bubble bath. Behind them sat a sad, stuffed, woolly animal. Alfie was not sure whether he was a sheep or a goat. He's a consolation prize, Mum explained. That's a cheer-up prize for someone who's not won but tried very hard. The consolation prize's ears were lopsided, and he wore a jersey with orange buttons. Alfie stared at him, but he didn't look back. He had his nose in the air, as if he were trying not to mind about not being a proper prize like the others. Everyone waited around while the judges looked at the pictures. But now at last the winners were being announced. First prize, Rahima Sharif. Second prize, Kevin Turley. Third prize, hmm, Alfie. The third prize was for Alfie. Everyone clapped and cheered. Alfie stepped up all by himself and shook hands with the lady who was presenting the prizes. She gave him the green bubble bath and told him that she thought his picture was colourful and original. Last of all, it was announced that the consolation prize went to Louise for her blue house. It was all very exciting. Alfie's friends crowded around him. All except Bernard, that is. He was very upset that his painting of slime monsters had not won. He told Alfie that he thought all the prizes were silly. Louise was not at all happy either. She's rather down in the dumps, I'm afraid, her dad told Alfie's dad later when they were having tea together. She'd set her heart on the green bubble bath. Soft toys are a babyish, said Louise. And she shoved the consolation prize down on the floor beside her chair. He sat there, with his nose still proudly in the air. Of course, Alfie knew that toys cannot understand anything. But secretly he hoped that the sheep, or, or goats, feelings were not hurt, just because Louise did not want him. Alfie felt a tiny bit sorry for Louise too. She was so cross and disappointed. Then he quietly made up his mind. He slipped off his chair and went to whisper in Dad's ear. Alfie has a suggestion to make, said Dad out loud. Alfie went over to Louise and said, I'll swap my bubble bath for your prize if you like. Louise thought that was an excellent idea. So they swapped prizes right away. Now Louise was all smiles. She said she was going to ask Alfie to tea at her house next Saturday and let him have a go on her new trampoline. Then they waved goodbye, Louise clutching her bubble bath and Alfie holding the consolation prize tightly in his arms. When the harvest fair was over, the children who had painted pictures were allowed to take them home. Alfie carried his painting carefully rolled up under one arm and his consolation prize under the other. On the way out, they met Bernard, looking very pleased with himself. My beetle has won a prize for being the smallest pet, he told Alfie. And I got a packet of chocolate buttons. Alfie and Danny Rose looked into the jam jar. 
but they still could not see Bernard's prize-winning beetle, only leaves. He, he's had a very exciting day, said Bernard. He may be feeling a bit tired. Then he gave Alfie and Annie Rose two chocolate buttons each. As soon as they got home, Annie Rose wanted to do a painting of her own. Luckily, there was plenty of paint left in the palette. When she had finished, she made Mum stick her picture up on the fridge too, underneath Alfie's. Alfie sat his prize on the window sill next to his old knitted elephant, Flumbo. What will you call him? Dad wanted to know. Alfie thought for a while. He was remembering a name he had often seen on a bus which passed near their street, which he had asked Mum to spell out for him. He liked the sound of it. His name is Wilsdon, he told them all. I think that suits him very well, said Mum. And that is how Wilsdon stopped being a consolation prize and became part of the family.